She sure blew. Yeah, just our luck. Come on, get us fixed. We gotta beat that train to Dunkirk. All right. Come 
you, Mr. Hurst. Oh, good. Uh, send Mr. Slater in, please. Hello, yes. Dad. Congratulations, Tom. You maneuvered that job in great style. <laughs> yes, we got your gold shipment through against the world of obstacles. And it was great sport. Sport? It is a difficult job and dangerous. You call that sport? <laughs> Nothing else but. And we caught one of the gang and held him long enough to get a lot of valuable data. And we're hot on the trail of their leader. Oh, uh, get this, Sam. Congratulations, Tom. Oh, thanks. That was good work. I was just telling Dad that we've got a line on the leader of the gang that's been stealing all your gold. And we've located their hangout, too. Oh, uh, where is it? A club that we all know. I'll call the police and we'll have that place raided at once. And find nobody. Hmm? No, Dad. Let Bob and me handle this in our own way. We brought through your gold when you left us alone. I think Tom's right, Father. Let the boys play alone in hand uh, a little while longer. All right, go ahead. But I'm telling you, it's a dangerous game. That's why we like it. Can I have a cigarette, Dad? Are you 21? Hmm. Your father's right about the danger, Tom. I think you should confide your movement to him in the event you get in a jam. <laughs> yes, he's right. Uh, what is your next move, Tom? The fellow we caught and battled with dropped his wallet. The wallet was full of letters and a code book. One of the letters was uh, addressed to a fellow named Sorg and signed Dirk at the Red Lantern. Miss Betty Moore. Oh, uh, let her come in. Hello, Betty. Hello, Tom. Hi. How do you do, Miss Moore? How do you do? Sit down. I just left Bob. He's gone down to size up the activity around the Red Lantern. You know what's up? questionable sort of place. Have you told your father everything? Yes, Betty, everything. He certainly did, Miss Moore. And this is too dangerous a game for you to be mixed up in. Better keep out of it. letter that was signed by Dirk was written mostly in code. Code? And it mentioned the stuff on St. Helens Island. Yes. And we think what they mean by the stuff is your stolen gold. Mm -hmm. You see, Dad, what I must do first is to get Dirk's code book, then go over to St. Helens Island and try and find the stuff. Kate has gone over to get Andy Ayers to loan us his speedboat, the speediest boat on the waterfront. We'll be waiting at the Red Lantern Pier. Miss Moore? You can't be mixed up in this. It's not a woman's job. It's too dangerous. But it's my job to get the story for the clarion. And to prove to you that the tragedy of the lost special is no fault of the general manager of the state Pacific, Mr. Horace Moore, my uncle. If you please, Miss Moore, that name is taboo in my presence. The state Pacific Railroad will pay me for my loss every cent. Please. We won't talk about that now. Uh, when do you expect to go to the Red Lantern? Tonight? No, this afternoon. Before the big crowd gets there. Hmm. All right. But be careful. Joe muffed everything. Wait till Slater gets an earful of this. Well, Young Hood got away with it. I know all about it. But here's something worse. Hood and Collins are wise to this hideout. They've got Cottrell's code book and they're coming here. Now, you've got to get that book away from them, Dirk. I've got it. And those two bozos will like it. that, Dirk. We can't take any chances. We don't know how many they may plant outside. Now, listen, you fellas. This is what we've got to do. Now, these boys are clever. They're not the ordinary kind we've been dealing with. Now, wait a minute, Bob. What's this big surprise? You told me you'd let me in on it before we went inside. But this, Tom, we sort of been playing a lone hand and getting away with it. But this Red Lantern is one tough layout. 
Well, now, don't tell me you've gone and surrounded the place with the police. No, nothing like that. But I got Pug Logan to bring down six of his husky friends from last year's football team. Oh, great. And they're all ready for action. Well, where do we meet them? They're all placed inside and ready to go when I give the signal. Oh, that's swell, Bob. Now, listen. Here's what we'll have to do first is try and locate this bird, Dirk. Come on. Good evening, gentlemen. Just two? Yes, just the two of us. Any particular spot? Well, we'd like a chamber where we can see the show. Eddie? Yes. Take good care of these boys. Yes, sir. Give them a ringside seat. This way, gentlemen. Thanks. They won't. There, and seated nice and comfy where they can get a good look at the layout. Good. I'll go back and follow out my orders. Right on. But remember, boys, Slater said there's to be no gunplay. Now go ahead and get your positions. Oh, well, that's all right. But we are toting our rods just the same. You bet we are. And keeping mine handy. Smooth for me, too. I know where mine is. Well, I'm carrying my gun. Come on, Bobby. Come on. All right, boys. That was a pretty good show, Bob. Sure was, Tom. Say, that blonde on the end was a wow. All right, now keep your mind off the blondes. We've got a lot of work to do here. Say, Tom, you're not expecting this crook jerk to come out and introduce himself, are you? Certainly not. I have a hunch we'll find him. He must be a pretty big shot around here. Well, I hope he shows up. I wonder just how tough these enemies of Tom and Bob really are. Wait till the bell rings, I'll show you how to something. Oh, forget about it. Say, listen, big boy, you can't pull that stuff on me and get away with it. I can't, eh? Well, you just try and stop me. Oh, come on, lay off, Tony. Be on the alert, fellas. Get ready to go. You keep out of here. Here, here, cut it out. What are you trying to do? Start an argument? Oh, hey, wait a minute. Go get Dirk and bring him here quick. Dirk, did you hear that, Bob? We're in luck. Now, listen, you. You're always starting something here. Go and get out. Well, just put me out. I'll do that first. Get up. Oh, Beat it, Dot. Here goes the fireworks. Mr. Faust doesn't fight, Dirk. Oh, yeah? Oh, you're Dirk. Yes, I'm Dirk. And I'm not going to have any foolishness with my friends. Now, come on, get out of here. Stay out! Go get him, gang! Quick, 
Tom, this way. Look, Andy. There's Tom and Bob. There's Betty with the boat now. Come on, hurry. Got him, got him with my code book. We've got to stop. Come on. We got the code book, Betty. Good. Hey, Andy, head for St. Allen's Island and step on it. A Frank. They're getting away. What is it, Chief? Listen, into the speedboat. We've got to catch those fellas. Step on it, Frank. Don't let them get away. Out the boat. Where's the police station? About three blocks down the street. Yes, thanks. 